What is up my movie fanatics and welcome to another Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K haul. I have about 20 titles, a little bit of everything like I normally do. If you guys haven't seen my last video, link will be in the description below. It's a really fun one. I had a blast doing this one. There's a special offer there for you guys where you can save 15% at my favorite movie hunting store and where I work. So don't forget to check that video out if you haven't. It supports me and it helps me out a lot. So please go down below, check that out. The last few months I've had a lot of 4Ks and I do have a little bit of everything but sadly I kind of went on a Godzilla and DC animation kick and I was trying to find some of the ones that I've been putting off too long and I actually I did find some of them so I didn't put 4K in on the back burner so to speak there just wasn't that much that I really wanted to grab right away I was kind of waiting a little bit. Let's start with the DVDs I have one DVD to show you guys I'm still picking up Scrooges I know this is sad but I can't help it I'm trying to get them all got this one at work. I couldn't pass it up. This one, I'll get, uh, this is the original Scrooge in, in color for the first time. Also includes newly restored black and white edition. That's what it says right here on the front. So this one was in, from 1935. So you know it's not going to be too long, but I cannot wait. I Not a lot of like super old movies I'm not really into. Like I love Charlie Chapman, but Scrooge is one of them that I can watch. So I'm actually, this is, I think, officially the oldest movie I have in my collection. Moving along to Blu-rays, first stuff, I got this at Big Lots for $3, and that is Trainwreck. As I mentioned in my Out and About, I'm, like, on a big Bill Hader kick. Mostly just because of that he's playing Georgie, the adult version of Georgie in It, and I can't wait. And the more I see with Bill Hader, the more I like. He can play it all. He's just a lot of fun, and I haven't really seen a ton of his movies, and I didn't actually I didn't know he was in Trainwreck because I am not the biggest fan of um, Amy Schumer, and I know she's one of the lead characters in this, but I just want to see Bill Hader and just see how them two work together because usually when you can get two comics together, it does work out really well. So that is Trainwreck. Also picked up at Big Lots, we have November Man, $3. I haven't been to Big Lots in so long, and I've been seeing so many good titles, this being one of them. Uh, pop up on Instagram, on Facebook. A lot of people are finding the Universal Monster Steelbooks that Best Buy released a couple years ago. Very cool. Never seen this. I'm a huge fan of uh, Pierce Bronson. I've loved all of his movies that he's ever done. Actually, one of the last movies I watched was Escape with Owen Wilson, and he was phenomenal in that. So I'm sure he's a badass in this. It's action season for me. I just wanted to get something I could just throw in the Blu-ray player and shut my brain off, and I know this is one of them. These next few I got at Twice Over Books. What is Twice Over Books? What am I saying? I mean half price books, excuse me. These were in the clearance section and I've been to half price many, many times and I can always sometimes find gold there. You just, I always go straight for the clearance section. And one thing that was really interesting, they had a ton of these movies, but they were all new and sealed and it is Deck the Halls. Now I love Deck the Halls. You can't go wrong with Danny DeVito. I mean, come on. Anything Danny DeVito does, I love. I love him in uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But what's really weird is that there is nothing wrong with this movie at all. It's just this, uh, the cellophane was off of it. So, they, I guess, put it on their clearance rack because they had other ones that were uh, only $5.99, but still 3 bucks. Save a couple bucks. Why not? It's a fun Christmas classic. Figured I'd just, you know, I was already picking up Scrooge. Might as well pick up Deck the Halls, too, while I'm at it this month. I mentioned before, too, I've been on, also on a Jesse Eisenberg hick, and I have not seen this movie since it came out. I remember watching it at a friend's house, and I didn't believe I didn't have it because I was kind of itching to revisit this movie, and that is Zombieland. And I know they're making a second one, so I'm sure it seems like when they make a sequel or a remake, the original or the uh, first movie is always harder to find. So I'm glad I scooped this up when I did. This was another one at half price that was uh, four bucks, but they had a bunch of them that were still in cellophane. And I don't understand why they did that. I guess it's what they do now. And by the way, real quick, if anybody shops at half price books... Mine just started doing this. They used to keep the discs out of the Blu-ray cases. They were empty and then you, they would put them in up front. But now all of the movies had the discs in there. So how does your half price do it? Now this is a good example of what I was talking about, about new unopened movies. And this one is another one I found at half price for $5.99 and that is Reservoir Dogs. I had this movie. I love this movie. It's Tarantino. Anything Tarantino does, I love. I had this movie, but I had it on Steelbook. And I've mentioned this before, I had to make some room, so I got rid of the majority of my steel books because this is going to sound so weird. One, they take up space, and two, I didn't watch them because I kept them in the sleeve. I didn't want them to get dented or scratched, so I was real weird about it. So I figured, 
For $5.99, brand new, still sealed, why not grab it? It's one that I just flew under the radar once I got rid of the steel book of it, so I'm glad to have this one back in the collection. I mentioned in the beginning that I'm going through a Godzilla kick, and I, I do that every year. I go through a Godzilla kick, an action kick, and an, a DC animation kick, but usually they're just phases at separate times. This year, they're all together. At work, somebody ended up selling all of their Godzilla collection, so I couldn't pass these up. For I thought I had this one in my collection, but it is Godzilla 1984. Like this one, a lot of fun. I don't know why I don't have. I didn't have this one. I I don't. I don't know. I guess it just flew under the radar. I thought I did have it. Um, you guys know I love Godzilla. Fun fact: Brooke was actually born on Godzilla's birthday. So it's, it's actually I didn't know that at the time, and then. Um, when we were, st when in the hospital still with Brooke, um, she, I watched Shin Godzilla and a few other Godzillas too. So that's really weird that that all happened that's <laughs> around that time. But I love Godzilla. I have to thank my mom for it because she is a huge Godzilla fan. I cannot wait for the new movie, but I'm glad to finally have this one in the collection. A Toho collection double pack that I did not have that I'm really excited this one came in because I've been looking for this one everywhere. And when I find it on Amazon or eBay, it's... Just a little bit out of my price end, which which means it's too expensive and because I'm cheap as hell. But this one is Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla and Godzilla Mothra and King Ghidorah, giant monsters all out attack. I had to read it because I knew I was going to butcher it. Mecha Godzilla is one of my favorite villains that he goes up against. I love Mecha Godzilla, but nobody can top King Ghidorah. He's my all time favorite. And Mothra, I have a special place in my heart for Mothra because my mom has loved Mothra. So to have these two, I was on a hunt for these for a while. To have these two, I'm so excited to finally have them. Like I said, I found them on Amazon and eBay, but they're just a little bit out of what I would like to pay for these. So I'm really glad to have these two. And this one was the Holy Grail. This is one I've been looking for since I got into Godzilla and really started collecting Godzilla. I cannot believe that this came through the door. This one, as far as I know, is still out of print. It's been out of print for a long time, and that is Destroy All Monsters. I've only seen this movie one time, and I remember watching it um, when I was younger, and the best part of this is that literally you have every monster in Godzilla, which is so much fun. You, you get to see all your favorite monsters come together in one all-out war, and you, you can't beat it. It's just, it's fun. It's so much fun. It's everything that I love about Godzilla all wrapped into one movie. So I never thought I would own this, to believe it or not. I never thought that this would ever happen because it's out of print and it was hard to find. So to get this at work, that's a, it's crazy to think about. I'm so glad I have finally have this. It's gonna go great with the Godzilla collection. Moving along, we have some DC animation. I'm really excited to have these. I've been slacking on Batman. I, I've been picking up a lot of Justice League and stuff, but I really wanted to get some Batman. So I noticed at work, we have a lot of Batman and um, animations in the movies. So I said, well, you know what? This is a perfect time to grab them. First thing I picked up was Batman vs. Robin. Now I've watched all these on streaming apps, whether it be Netflix, Hulu, Tubi, the free sites. You can usually find these. And I really like this one a lot. To see Batman and Robin go toe to toe, is unique, it's different, it's fun. It's out of the norm because you always see Robin in Batman's shadow always being that sidekick and he's not. It's just, it's a really good one and I'm glad that we had this one at work. I can't wait to revisit this one. Next up here we have Son of Batman. This one was interesting. It had like a really dark tone to it, like darker than normal and I liked it. I mean, one thing that you gotta love about these movies is you're gonna get great uh, action scenes there's a lot of violence it's Batman which you can't go wrong and you get a lot of your favorite DC villains and heroes but this one was a ton of fun a ton of fun um Deathstroke's in it you can't I personally he's one of my favorite DC villains and it's different you know it's all about the League of Shadows so it's a much darker tone and I really did like this one a lot this one I didn't really like as much as the other ones, but I wanted to give it a second chance. So we had it, I figured I'd scoop it up, and that is Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Now the idea behind this movie is really cool. Batman going up against Jack the Ripper, you know, is really interesting. And I loved seeing like what Batman does in a time where there's no technology and seeing how he adapts and, and learns to the era, which is great. There's just something about this movie that didn't draw me in like the other ones. So I'm gonna give it a second chance. Let me know what you guys think of Gotham by Gaslight. And the last one I picked up, I was super excited to see where they were gonna go after the death of Superman. I wanted to see what was gonna happen to Superman, how they were gonna bring him back, all that good stuff. So when they announced Reign of Superman, 
I had to check this out. I bought it, watched it, loved it. It, it transitions nicely. I love seeing all the different Superman and Steel. One of my favorite characters is in this one, which was great. I love seeing Steel. You had Superboy, which is great too. But it's cool seeing these different Superman come together for a different purpose and just totally fun. There's a great villain in it. There's an awesome villain, actually. There's a good twist in this movie. A lot of fun. If you haven't seen this, I highly recommend it. This next one was a pickup at Walmart and because it seemed on the back so silly, and it seemed fun and, and it has a really cool lenticular slipcover. So I picked it up and that is found footage 3D. Now, apparently watching the trailer, I have not watched this movie, watching the trailer and reading about it. They're saying it's the found footage version of Scream. So meaning these people get together to make a found footage movie. They're kind of like mocking like how found footage movies, you know, happen and and like the steps that you take to make a perfect found footage film but stuff starts going wrong and everything that's happening is coming true so a lot of people say it's good this is a shutter exclusive i, I read good things i read bad things what do i expect out of it i expect a fun b-rated uh movie that's it that's all i expect out of this so i can't wait to give you my thoughts on this one one of my favorite hockey movies i couldn't believe i didn't have um slap shot's my all-time favorite hockey movie but this one is a close second easily i love this movie just for the fighting and i sean william scott does a fantastic job and that is goon if you've never seen this i don't want to give it away but it, it's funny there's violence you get to see the dark side of, of hockey which is which is great and like where the enforcer like you get to learn a little bit about the enforcer and, and what their job is on the ice it is just off the wall fun you know, you kind of have to take this movie with a grain of salt. This next one, I was very excited for the release. And I heard so many mixed opinions on it. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see what all, what all the good and the bad and the ugly is about. I watched it. I personally had a really good time with it. There's things that I didn't like. But overall, it was a fun remake. And that is Suspiria. Like I said... What's nice about this movie is is that they kind of they keep the idea of the original Suspiria, but they make this their own movie where you're not sitting there comparing the two. And I mean, the cast was great. They all did a fantastic job. But I will say this movie's not for everybody because it's very slow paced. There's a lot of dialogue. There's definitely some shocking moments. But if you're expecting like a horror movie where there's just creepy nonstop, like jump scares you're not going to get it this is more of an artistic horror movie with a lot of build-up and storytelling to it which i liked the ending of this is fantastic so if you've seen the new suspiria let me know i'm really embarrassed to say that i bought the remake of suspiria and then i realized that i did not have the original suspiria now this has some gorgeous artwork to it and i've actually seen suspiria a few times i watch it on tubi which is a free streaming app 100 percent free uh, they have some good, some bad, some ugly movies on there, but that's where I originally watched it. You just have to deal with ads every once in a while. But hey, for free, why not? So glad to finally have this. I uh, this is I think my only synopsis film I own. I don't know. I don't own a I don't own a lot, but I'm very glad to have this to rewatch this. I can't wait to see the transfer on it because when you watch it through, you know, there's free apps. It's not the best quality, so I know this is going to be fantastic quality, and I cannot wait to dive in. Look at them special features. This whole box right here is special features. So to dive into that, that is going to be awesome. I got one 4K to show you guys, and as I said, I really did slack on the 4Ks last month, but I'm really excited to have this one. I don't get all the hate. I love this movie, and that is Venom. Now, I put this in a sleeve because apparently the slipcover is hard to find. I actually had to get it on eBay. The, I bought it on eBay, the movie, because we got a couple in at work with slips, but I waited too long, and then they quit coming. So I, I, I don't know if it's hard to find or not, but I don't get the hate with this movie. Tom Hardy did great. It's funny. Yes, it's PG-13. Should it have been R? Yes, it should have been R. But they really pushed the boundaries with this movie, and... It's fun. I can't wait for the next one. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's just like any other superhero movie. It's not perfect, but it's a ton of fun. I have two Scream Factories that I want to show you guys. I've been putting these off for a long time, these two. I keep... I don't know why I put them off, kept putting them off, but I'm really excited to have this. Shout out to Culture Trini for helping me get the slip a long time ago. And that is Day of the Dead. Luckily, I got this in a group, uh, on a Facebook group. He was selling it really cheap, so I... I snagged it. He didn't have the slip, but I didn't care because I already had one. Love the artwork. 
Love the artwork. Now, you guys know I'm close to Pittsburgh, so anything uh, George A. Romero is... It's, it's a big thing here. Like, we have zombie walks and all kind of stuff. So this is one I cannot wait to revisit. I love... I've seen uh, Day, Dawn, Night, but I, there's some other ones that I have not seen, like um, Survival of the Dead, Diary of the Dead. It's all part of the Romero uh, series, but I haven't seen those yet. I want to check... If anybody knows about them, let me know. I'm so glad to finally... I feel like a weight has lifted off my shoulders because this one I've been looking for for a long time. And last but not least, I got this one from uh, the same group. I got the slipcover from a good friend, Michael McMenamin. I, I hope I said it right because I say it too fast and I stutter. So shout out to you, Michael. But thank you so much for helping me find the slip. And that is The Exorcist 3. I've never seen this. I'm going to just come out and say it. But everybody said you need to get it. It's a fantastic movie. You'll love it. Trust us. I mean, everybody says this is the true sequel. I know the second one's garbage. I've seen parts of it, so that's kind of why I never really got into this one. But um, I cannot wait. George, George C. Scott's in it. Um, I, I don't really know. I'm just excited to check it out, and I'm glad to finally have it because this is one that kept flying under my radar that I've been wanting to get, and I finally got it, so... I'm glad to have this. If you guys have seen this, let me know what you think about it. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for joining me on another Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K update. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know you're enjoying my content. Don't forget to check out my last video, you guys. It helps me out. And plus, there's a special offer there that you guys shouldn't pass up. If you're new to my channel and you like movies as much as I do, click that subscribe button. And as always, everybody, take care and happy watching.